Welcome to Unlocking the Power of Your Personality Type. I'm Samantha Mackay, lead trainer at Truity, and today we're talking about how INFJs can set healthy boundaries in the workplace. Now the pathway to a fulfilling career comes from doing work that matters to you, using your strengths and your natural talents. However, the workplace isn't always fair or equal, and without healthy boundaries, you can find yourself taking on work that isn't yours or being everyone's counselor, which drains you of your emotional energy and burns you out, leaving you feeling overlooked, underappreciated, and disrespected, simply because you are not doing the work that matters to you or using your strengths. And that is not the way to a fulfilling career. Having clear boundaries enables us to say no to the work, people, or behaviors that drain us, that aren't aligned with our vision and undermine our mental, emotional, and physical well-being in the workplace. But before we can ask for our boundaries to be respected, we have to know what our needs and limits are. So let's start there. INFJs don't spend a lot of time thinking about what they need and they can struggle to set boundaries for fear of others' disapproval or negative feedback. So this process can feel a little strange at first, even uncomfortable. But as an INFJ said to me recently after pushing back at work, it feels great, I just wanna do it more. So it's worth taking the time to get into. Needs and boundaries go hand in hand. There are about 50 human needs, ranging from the basics of sleep, food, and water to more intangible needs like belonging, authenticity, stability, independence, and learning. And while we all have the same needs, how we express them differs. And that is where boundaries come into play. Knowing our needs helps us know where our line is and boundaries let ourselves and others know what happens when those lines are crossed. And you will know when a boundary is being crossed, when you feel angry, resentful, or guilty. Pay attention to those moments and look beneath your feelings to find the need that's not being met and the line that was crossed. So let's look at a few examples, starting with our physical needs, sleep, food, water, air, exercise. What do you need for each of those and how is work helping you meet those needs or not? An INFJ I know is not a morning person. She simply can't function if she woke up before eight o'clock in the morning. So she chose a job that was flexible, allowing her to start the day at 10 a.m. and work into the evening, allowing her to get the sleep she needed to work at her best. Just an example, now let's talk about emotional needs and boundaries. While we all have a need for empathy, appreciation and cooperation, you also have a need for alone time. Having emotional boundaries allows you to distinguish between your emotions and someone else's. This allows you to say no to tasks or people that aren't safe or appropriate. This includes saying no to working weekends, always being available, or taking on other people's tasks. It allows you to put on your headphones, close the door, or turn off your phone when you need quiet time. It also helps you delegate work and not take responsibility for everything and everyone. And finally, mental needs and boundaries. And by this, I mean your thoughts and opinions. This relates to our needs for self-expression, contribution, and effectiveness. It helps us both express our opinions and stand by them and not be influenced by others. This could be sticking to your guns about an idea, voicing an opinion about how a project should be managed or about how a customer should be treated. And once you know your needs and have defined your limits, it's time to determine what needs to change. So to reset your boundaries, who or what needs to change? Make a list of the problem areas and the actions you wanna take for each. Do you need to make a request of yourself or of someone else? And once you have that, it's time to make clear, specific requests about your new limits, but do so in a way that's mutually beneficial and supportive. Think of it more as a negotiation than demand in your communication style. And no matter how well you communicate, about these limits, people will try to cross them. It takes time for people to get used to new boundaries and it's up to you to enforce them. No one will do it for you. So prepare for pushback by role-playing how you'll respond to boundary pushes. Plan to be assertive rather than defensive. Expect others to get upset and angry, but remember it's not about you, it's about them. And whatever your boundary is, you are worth it. And the more you practice standing up for yourself, the more confident you will feel, and the more a fulfilling career will naturally flow your way.